Antibiotics are a vital component in the arsenal of modern medicine. They are used to treat bacterial infections and have saved countless lives over the years. Ceftonir is one such antibiotic that has gained popularity in recent times. However, not many people are familiar with this medication, its uses, and potential side effects. That's where this ultimate guide to Ceftonir comes in. In this comprehensive guide, we will take you through everything you need to know about Ceftonir, including its mechanism of action, indications, dosages, and potential side effects. We will also explore the differences between Ceftonir and other antibiotics, such as amoxicillin and azithromycin. So, whether you are a healthcare professional or a patient looking for information on Ceftonir, this guide is your one-stop resource for all things Ceftonir. So, let's dive in and explore the world of Ceftonir together. How does Ceftonir work? Ceftonir belongs to a class of antibiotics known as cephalosporins. It works by disrupting the bacterial cell wall, which leads to the death of the bacteria. Ceftonir is effective against a wide range of bacterial infections, including strep throat, sinus infections, and pneumonia. One of the advantages of Ceftonir is that it has a broad spectrum of activity, meaning that it can target a wide range of bacterial species. Ceftonir has a longer half-life than other cephalosporins, which means that it can be taken once or twice a day. This makes it a convenient option for patients who have difficulty adhering to a strict medication regimen. However, it's important to note that ceftonir should only be used to treat bacterial infections and not viral infections, such as the common cold or the flu. Ceftonir is available in both capsule and liquid form. The liquid form is often prescribed to children who have difficulty swallowing pills. The dosage and duration of treatment will depend on the type and severity of the infection, as well as the patient's age and overall health. When is ceftonir prescribed? Ceftonir is prescribed to treat a variety of bacterial infections, including Strep throat Strep throat is a bacterial infection that affects the throat and tonsils. It is most common in children but can also occur in adults. Symptoms include sore throat, fever, and swollen lymph nodes. Sinus infections Sinus infections occur when the sinuses become inflamed due to a bacterial infection. Symptoms include headache, facial pain, and congestion. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs that can be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Symptoms include cough, fever, and difficulty breathing. Skin infections. Ceftonir can also be used to treat skin infections, such as cellulitis and impetigo. It's important to note that ceftonir should only be used to treat bacterial infections and not viral infections, such as the common cold or the flu. Dosage and administration of ceftonir. The dosage of ceftonir will depend on the type and severity of the infection, as well as the patient's age and overall health. The recommended dosage for adults is 300 mg taken once or twice a day. For children, the dosage will depend on their weight and age. Ceftonir can be taken with or without food. However, taking it with food can help reduce the risk of stomach upset. It's important to take the medication as prescribed and to complete the full course of treatment, even if you start to feel better before the medication is finished. If you miss a dose of ceftonir, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for a missed one. Possible Side Effects of Ceftonir Like all medications, ceftonir can cause side effects. The most common side effects include Diarrhea Nausea Vomiting stomach upset, headache, dizziness. These side effects are usually mild and will go away on their own. However, if they persist or become more severe, contact your healthcare provider. In rare cases, septonir can cause more serious side effects, such as severe diarrhea, which may be a sign of a clostridium difficile infection, allergic reactions, including hives, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat, and difficulty breathing. Liver problems, including jaundice, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, and pale stools. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Precautions when taking septonir. Before taking septonir, tell your healthcare provider if you are allergic to any medications, especially other cephalosporins. Also, let your healthcare provider know if you have any medical conditions, such as kidney disease or liver disease. 
Ceftonir can interact with certain medications, including antacids and iron supplements. Be sure to tell your healthcare provider if you are taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications and supplements. It's important to take the full course of Ceftonir as prescribed, even if you start to feel better before the medication is finished. If you stop taking the medication too soon, the infection may not be fully treated, and the bacteria may become resistant to the medication. Interactions with other drugs. Ceftonir can interact with certain medications, including antacids containing aluminum or magnesium, iron supplements, probenicid, used to treat gout, warfarin, a blood thinner. Be sure to tell your healthcare provider if you are taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications and supplements. Ceftonir and pregnancy, breastfeeding. Ceftonir is classified as a pregnancy category B medication, which means that it's generally considered safe to use during pregnancy. However, as with any medication, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider before taking ceftonir if you are pregnant. It's not known whether ceftonir passes into breast milk. If you are breastfeeding, talk to your healthcare provider before taking ceftonir. Ceftonir versus other antibiotics. Ceftonir belongs to a class of antibiotics known as cephalosporins. It is similar to other cephalosporins, such as cephalexin and cefixine. However, ceftonir has a longer half-life than other cephalosporins, which means that it can be taken once or twice a day. This makes it a convenient option for patients who have difficulty adhering to a strict medication regimen. Ceftonir is also effective against a wide range of bacterial infections, including strep throat, sinus infections, and pneumonia. However, it's important to note that not all bacterial infections can be treated with ceftonir. Your healthcare provider will determine the best antibiotic for your specific infection. Frequently asked questions about ceftonir. Q. Is ceftonir a broad-spectrum antibiotic? A. Yes, ceftonir is a broad-spectrum antibiotic that is effective against a wide range of bacterial infections. Q. Can ceftonir be used to treat viral infections? A. No. Ceftonir should only be used to treat bacterial infections and not viral infections, such as the common cold or the flu. Q. How long does it take for ceftonir to work? A. The length of time it takes for ceftonir to work will depend on the type and severity of the infection. In general, patients should start to feel better within a few days of starting treatment. Q. Can ceftonir be taken with food? A. Yes, ceftonir can be taken with or without food. However, taking it with food can help reduce the risk of stomach upset. Q. What should I do if I miss a dose of ceftonir? A. If you miss a dose of ceftonir, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for a missed one. Conclusion. Ceftonir is an effective antibiotic that is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It belongs to a class of antibiotics known as cephalosporins and has a longer half-life than other cephalosporins, which makes it a convenient option for patients who have difficulty adhering to a strict medication regimen. Like all medications, ceftonir can cause side effects, but these are usually mild and will go away on their own. If you experience any severe or persistent side effects, contact your healthcare provider. If you have any questions about ceftonir or your treatment plan, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching.